hello so I've never done this and I don't know what I'm doing so whatever it's gonna come out pretty bad I just wanted to show you the weird cat tarot by Gabrielle cash the caution my truck this is the box and it's super cute I really love it it just poses like this and has a magnet here and this is the book and it's in full color it has, you know, a little intro, some stuff on each card. Not very much, but it's enough. It's pretty Rider weight esque so it works really well. And then it has some spreads that are kind of cat-themed. I'm sorry, you can't really see it very well. But it's in here. And then they have um, some astrological stuff. And it's just cute. It's a good one. It's a good book. And then the cards. This is the back. It's so cute. And it has this pink gilding. That's really good. Um, I've been shuffling it like constantly. And it hasn't chipped at all or anything. It's really, really good. Um, I'm just going to flip through all the cards, I guess. Because they're so cute. Okay. Sorry if it's a little bit blurry. The angle's weird. So it can't. it doesn't want to focus on like the whole card. It's just so cute. I don't know. I guess I don't have much to say. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> so adorable. Oops. I love that cat. It's so cute. This is one of my favorite cards. I don't know. They're all just so cute. And they read so well. It's like... It seems like it would be a silly deck. You know, like... A novelty deck that you don't necessarily read with. But it's given me some really good readings already. And I've only had it for like a couple weeks. And it has... I don't know how to say this properly, but it has um, the symbolism that you'd expect from like a Rider Waite, you know, for the most part, obviously, it's very different, but, you know, that basic theme, and it gives you a way to view things in a positive light as well, which I think is really important, because, I don't know, I'm not really one who goes for like super dark decks that don't have any positive <laughs> aspect to some of the cards uh, which I don't know sometimes you see that in devils or towers or um, three and ten of swords sometimes they're pretty like hopeless looking but even in this one you know these two are broken but this one that it's actually the cats on is still intact you know, he could get down safely. I mean, maybe it is a cat in a tree. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. It's this kind of positive way of looking at it. Where it's like not everything is falling apart. As it might feel like it is. It's just so cute. And I love this because this is like the deception. And you have a dog <laughs> in a cat hood. I don't know, I love it. It's so cute. And it reminds me of those, um, the way that the color goes sort of out of the lines it reminds me of those black scratch art things. I don't know what they're actually called. That's what it reminds me of. And I love it. It's just so adorable. It also has, like, some of the best printing, honestly, in terms of, um, like, the back being even, which sounds weird, but 
I just trimmed the Cosmic Tarot, and the back was like all, it, the image on the back just wasn't even. So it trimmed funny, and there's like white lines on it and stuff from where the border was. But this is like totally perfect. Not that I would trim this, but I'm just saying. I really love this. I love this deck. The card stocks, I don't know, some people probably wouldn't like it. It's a little bit thin. Um, I don't know anything about cardstock, <laughs> but I like it. It kind of bends and it's flexible. Um, you can shuffle with it. I can't shuffle with it now to show you because I will end up throwing my camera on the floor by accident because my setup sucks. <laughs> but anyway, that's that. I just wanted to show you the Weird Cat Tarot by Gabrielle Cash. Thank y'all.